Hello. I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer, and this is the evolutionary astrology forecast for the 14th through the 21st of December 2019. This is where I talk about celestial transits in the heavens that affect all of us, all zodiac signs. So, how have you been doing? What an intense time is this, huh? Everything is changing. Everything is changing. You are changing. And even if you are not changing, somebody in your life is bringing the drama, the turbulence, and the transformation. This world is changing us as a race, as a society, as a civilization, if we're allowed to call ourselves that, are changing. And we are understanding a very simple yet profound cardinal truth change yourself change the world gosh i wanted to do that on my chest change yourself change the world the little things what we consume where we invest our money how much animal products do we buy how much energy do we consume how much <coughs> water do we utilize what our choices are. And it's not about being radical. We're human. We cannot be perfect in an imperfect world. It's about bettering ourselves. You know? There was one thing I couldn't part with. Was real milk in my coffee. And it was a very gradual process. And sometimes I still drink milk in my coffee. But it, these choices and allowing myself to overstep the choice, knowing that it's not a rule, it's a choice, and it's my choice, gives me the opportunity to allow myself to be sometimes more graceful than the behemoth within me, than the animal I reside in. And this week is a week of profound change. This is like an opening up of channels. And astrologically, I'm talking about the trine between Uranus in Taurus and Jupiter in Capricorn coming up. That is going to be a grand trine on the 17th when the moon is going to join in from Virgo. And this is a wonderful time for realization and for enlargement of our horizons, of our consciousness, of our wisdom, of light, of bringing into our minds, this is still in the mental realm, sipping down to the emotional realm, changing, interflowing back into the, to, to the, to, to the higher mind, and inseminating the heart again, and so on. This is like going on within us not necessarily still in our actions if you saw my last video you know i suggest that big decisions if they're not very very pressing postpone them for a week a week and a half from today because there's still a lot of energies in the sky that can cause us to be erroneous overlook important details or see things differently we could be more misunderstood or misunderstand things. And communications this week. Do what you can to make sure you understood people correctly and that they understood you correctly. Mercury is going to square Neptune at the end of the week. Mercury is in charge of communication. and Well, Neptune is not very apt with clarity, let's just say. So this is still not the best time to actually make the decisions. I would say still ponder it within you. Let it, you know, let it brew. But definitely, definitely listen into the new. Listen into the exciting, out of the box. Maybe it's true. It used to be impossible, but hey, I'm making it possible. We're making it possible together. We're baby stepping forward consistently into a better future. And what it is all about, really what it is all about, is about believing in that change. It's about 
walking out of faith and love to that vision you see in front of you and not out of fear and anxiety of what could be. These are two different poles, love and fear. Anger can come out of both love and fear. But anger with love makes bravery. Be brave. Look back at your wonderful road. Look at how you've had a track record with making the impossible possible from the time you were born. It was impossible for you to walk, you did it. It was impossible for you to talk, you did it. It was impossible for you to get love, you did it. It was impossible for you to get a job, you did it. Anything you wanted to conquer in your life, you did. And what you need to conquer now is yourself. And this is going to be your hardest challenge yet. But we're baby stepping consistently into a brighter future. And we're doing it out of love, not critical judgment. Some of that is a wonderful spice. Put a little too much in and it overrules any other taste. And it dampens your meal and your mood. <laughs> so, coming down to the weekdays, I'm Sunday the 15th is the exact trine between Jupiter and Uranus. We're going to feel these new expansive energies throughout the week. Boldly take yourself where you've never taken yourself before. In here. In here. Believe. And something be else beautiful that is happening in the sky this Thursday is that Mars is going to sextile Saturn. And when Mars sextiles Saturn, we have this realignment of our actions with our strategic goals. We are able to better postpone our immediate needs and cravings for the better or the, the, the long run goal that we see in front of us. It is a feeling that we're more mature in charge and in control of that animal that I was talking about before. And we're able to actually harness it to do some work for us. <laughs> Saturn loves work. <laughs> and Mars is energy. And when it sextiles, it means there's like a Venus between them. It can bring a lot of satisfaction and value into our life. And this is something that is exact on Thursday, the 19th, which is, by the way, a sensitive day because the moon opposes Chiron. And slowly our actions, our personal needs and cravings are going through this maturation process. We are getting older and wiser and calmer. The exact grand trine time is on the 17th. The moon is going to join Jupiter and uh, Uranus. And the 17th is amazing for any kind of materialization or realization or manifestation of something substantial in your life. Could be dealing with anything of the material world, including money and value and beauty and sensuality. Friday, we have square between Neptune and Mercury. Venus is stepping into Aquarius. <laughs> I don't think I have any time to talk about that now, but maybe in the next video. And just Saturday is a bit too intense to relax in. So calm it down as much as you can. And it's good for intimate stuff like sexuality or, you know, actually utilizing that intensity for something good like research. I hope you all live long and prosper. Change yourself, change the world. Until the droplets recognize that they're the currents, they're the waves, they're the ocean. The ocean itself will remain ever salty. And we're sweetening things, baby. You and me. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Take care. Bye-bye.